Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine, and it is Thursday, and we do this every Thursday. We look at online ammo prices, and, well, the date is March 11th, 2021. And we've been keeping track of ammo prices since October of 2020, and it looks like we're going to be doing it forever. It wasn't the original intent, but, uh, you know, it's uh, it's interesting out there and for ammo prices. So we're going to keep track of it and see if we can't help you guys out along the way. Uh, I do need to address something. Uh, a couple of you guys have reached out to me and said that uh, you guys do not like OnlineAmmoShop.com. Even though they may have the cheapest price, they have a shipping and handling fee. I say, okay, fair enough. You don't like the shipping and handling fee. However, um, if for some odd reason they happen to have the best price, is it still the best price even with the shipping and handling fee? And sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. Um, it's not something I could really calculate for. Uh, I'm just looking at the raw price per unit to meet a standard criteria of basically like no fraggables, no reloads, no steel, no tracers, nothing weird. Just kind of like either defense rounds or full metal jacket, kind of what we're looking at. And brass ammunition and new production that's kind of the criteria um so i did go for go some online ammo shop deals however there were like one or two that were just so good that even with the shipping and handling fee they still beat everybody else out so uh to not you know cut off our nose to spite our faces you know sometimes it's going to be on there um i'll try to run the calculation to see if that you know shipping and handling fee is uh more or less than other stuff however it it does slow the process down you know the other thing is people are like well why don't you calculate shipping cost well everyone's shipping cost is going to be different you may live much closer than i do or i may live much closer than you do and the shipping is less or it also depends how much you order uh it's not an easy way to calculate these things um and the other thing is sometimes they don't advertise whether or not they have a shipping and handling fee until at the very end uh and i don't usually go through that entire process so with that very lengthy explanation let's jump on into ammo prices now the way we keep track of ammo prices is we use ammo seek isn't the best thing ever but it does work and gives you an idea of what the cost is um so uh, another great thing ammo seek does is it keeps track of the percentages of what people are looking for usually nine millimeters around 20 percent this week's around uh is just over 21 percent so a little bit more than normal but it you know for these times i guess that's not too much but this is just kind of interesting to see every week take a quick look at um all right let's jump into the top six pistol and rifle calibers so we're gonna go ahead and look at uh five five six five five six is 77 cents a shot uh definitely down a few cents from last week six cents a shot from last week's down uh 223 is down two cents at 75 cents a shot um 762 by 39 jumped four cents so it's at 44 cents a shot 44 cents more and um 762 by 51 is at 94 cents a shot um which is nice it's hopefully it will keep dropping um it's it's been floating at a dollar around and I, I hope it drops because uh you know that's a lot of money uh, a lot of hunters use uh 762 by 21. um so maybe if that drops they're they're not having to pay too much although i guess hunting season's almost over depending where you're at 22 long rifle uh 18 cents a shot that's awful um you know don't don't pay it unless you have to and even then don't pay it uh 300 blackout uh a dollar 39 um online was the best i could find however i actually saw some of this in stores recently and it wasn't a bad price and i'll make another video about that later um all right on to our pistol calibers uh 38 special um 83 cents a shot now here we go <laughs> the next one is 357 magnum and it is at online ammo shop and it is 80 cents a shot and you're going to be like mad i don't want to pay the shipping and handling fee well if i may so here you go this is the discount or this is this is it right here online ammo shop basically 80 cents a shot right all right well do you want to pay a dollar 18 per round i got by the way to get that price of a dollar 18 round you have to buy a thousand rounds all right let's let's scroll down a dollar 19 a shot let's scroll down you have to buy 500 rounds 
at what point does the four ninety nine shipping and handling fee negate the cost savings at eighty cents a round? Doesn't take long. I mean, we're basically forty cents, or we're talking basically another forty cents a shot difference. Uh, so what? I mean, you know, forty cents, to, you know, to get to uh, five bucks. You know, doesn't you know what is that? Uh, 10, 20, I mean, like, pretty much you buy a box of ammo, you, you've done saved the, you've done an extra box of ammo, you've done negated the cost of the shipping and handling fee. Um, so yeah, don't, let's not cut off our nose to spider face. Let's use math and reason. I understand everyone hates junk fees, but if it's still the best deal, it's the best deal. Now, if you can't do it on principle, that's cool. That's cool. I'm not, you know, um, I understand that you're like, I won't pay that. I'd rather pay more money paying on shipping and handling or not paying shipping and handling okay that's you you do you no 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 problems there i'm just showing you what i see um 40 smith and weston is at 68 cents a shot uh i paid 50 cents a shot at academy i think out the door or close to that um maybe it was 50 cents a shot plus tax um 45 acp 85 cents a shot down one penny um you know, hey, um, could be worse. Uh, 380 auto. I actually saw some of this in stores, and uh, granted it was defense rounds, but um, similar and comparable prices, essentially. Uh, basically 89 cents a shot for this week. Um, def down about uh, 9 cents, so that's good. Um, you know, down 9 cents. Uh, nine millimeter was 60 cents a shot, kind of floating there, uh, which is uh, good and bad. Uh, I have seen this at a couple of stores floating around 33, or I'm sorry, 37 to 38 cents a shot. Um, a lot of, I've seen it at a few local gun stores in my area. Um, granted, it's it's gone, you know, within <laughs> within you know 10 to 30 minutes of it being put on the shelf maybe an hour if it's like in the middle of the day and it's slow but um it, it's gone pretty quick uh 10 millimeter uh i can't keep track of these for a viewer who requested it 10 millimeter is at 80 cents it does not go into our calculation and 357 sig that's for me just keeping track of it 80 cents a shot uh as far as the difference between last week and this week um basically about the same all in all you know a few up few down uh, i think if we had used maybe some more online ammo shop stuff it might have been a few cents less but i understand that you guys are concerned about those shipping and handling fees so i will do my best to anytime i see online ammo shop to just try to calculate it out and see if it's the best deal or if it's not the best deal uh, I do appreciate your time, and I hope this helps you guys out. If you could, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. That always helps the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. If you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out. I'm happy to help, uh, whether it's with ammunition or anything else uh, firearms-related. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Um, feel free to send me any comments or uh, in the links, and I... As always, uh, oh, the spreadsheet is uh, in the description, and as always, I will catch you later. Have a good one. Mad Marine, signing off.